Oh, holy, whoa, wow. <laughs> holy cow. Oh, holy, oh, oh man. Oh, wow. Woo. Oh. Oh, dude, I, I don't know. Ah, nice. Friggin' phenomenal. Abby, 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 Randy, you're huge. Oh, whoa! No, 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 no. Hmm. Wow! No, that's not it. Oops. This might be one of the best unboxings we've done here. What's up, guys? Back in the Geek Culture Studios uh, with something pretty effing amazing, if I may say so myself. This is from Queen Studios. This is Thanos from Avengers Endgame quarter scale, which we really don't know what quarter scale is because we really don't know how big Thanos actually is, but it's, this is big. 35 kgs of Thanos in this box. Officially Marvel licensed. As you can tell by the box here, this looks freaking awesome. Awesome. I mean, we've been doing gauntlets here from Hasbro and various other companies from China, and they're all cool. This is on another level. So I'm going to unbox this. I'm gonna have some help. Randy here from Collector's Arc, who is actually the distributor in Singapore, is gonna help me unbox it as well. There's, I think, about 14 pieces to put it together. It's made out of polystone, so it's a little bit more durable than resin. And we are going to put Thanos together and display it for you here in the Geek Culture Studio. This is a world's first. Only 776 pieces made of this in the premium edition. That's it. We've got one of 776 here. I'm pumped for this, man. This is uh, 35 kg. Where are you gonna put it? Forget that. You're gonna have to get it. Put it on the dining table. Just kick a family member out of the house. Thanos belongs there. Anyway, let's unbox this bad boy. Randy, come on in, buddy. Come on in. Let's uh, help me bring this down to the table. Oh, this is, guys, honestly speaking, this is really heavy. Holy ah. shit. I can say ah. shit, right? Now, before I sort of turn it around to actually unbox it the proper way, I do want to show you the certificate that's in this because, again, a very limited piece, right? Yep. Extremely limited piece. This is it from Queen Studio Collectibles. Thanos, one quarter statue. And you get two uh, head sculpts with this as well, right? That's part of the premium collection. This is your official certificate from Queen Studio on that. Very nice. And it comes in like, like a high, hard piece of plastic, which is good. So it's not going to like wrinkle up. This is really good stuff. Okay. So we've got that here. And then we'll put this to the side. And then let's turn this around. Oh, man. This is big. I actually think we need a larger Omni desk. What do you think? <sighs> okay. You okay? I'm good. Oh, holy cow, we, this table is way too small for this unboxing. We need the big Omni desk. Okay, Randy, here we go. Oh. You're huge. Come on, you can do it. You do Arnold Schwarzenegger too? Uh, <laughs> this package is just as badass in a way. It's got these Velcro straps here. Ooh, I love that sound. It's a strong Velcro, baby. You could hold on to like a car with this. You got buckles here. You got the Queen Studio logo here. Randy, this is legitimate, baby. This is great. I just can't wait to see this thing, man. This is just so freaking impressive, man. Wait, 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 wait. Gloves, gloves. Now it's that time, Randy. You know, because I don't want to touch any piece and something goes bad. Okay, let's take off the top of this. Randy, if you could... Hold this for me. Holy shit. Whoa. Wow. Yo, this is legit. This is insane. Oh. I don't even know where to start. Okay, all right, all right, I know where to start. This looks like it's the base here. <laughs> It's so friggin' heavy. Oh, sh Sorry, guys. I've never really unboxed this. This is really a true first unboxing, okay? I've never seen this in person. I've only seen an image. So, oh. Yo, this is crazy 
heavy. Okay. Oh, the detail. Look at this, guys. Seriously. Holy cow. Thanks, man. Thanks, buddy. Wow. This. Honestly, this is amazing. And that's the base. Next, we've got Thanos, like most of Thanos in one shot there. We've got the double bladed sword. Oh, <laughs> it's a weapon. This is a weapon. Holy ah! shit. This is nice. Oh. Oh, guys. Guys, look at this. Oh man, this is legit. Nothing plastic on this at all. Wow. Does it feel sharp? I have microfiber gloves on. It's hard for me to tell, but it's not sharp. No, it's not sharp. It's not gonna cut anything. But dude, imagine if like for a moment, if Hasbro made up like a spool size one like this, wouldn't that be cool? Oh. Dude, this is badass, man. That's metal, dude. This is metal. It's a freaking metal double-bladed sword in this thing. Woo! Hey, can you hold this for me, Randy? Thanks, man. What do you think of the blade, Abby? It's good, right? You know why I'm freaking out right now. Oh, man, Thanos is huge. This is not for kids, okay? Okay, so... Oh, shit. How, uh, you gotta help, help me real quick. I gotta turn this around. Yeah. Cause you gotta sit Thanos down, right? Yeah. It was a hole in his ass. <laughs> so there's a, there's a hole in Thanos' ass. You see that? So he sits. Ah! I'm nervous as ah! Oh. Do you want to turn on me now? Ooh. Guys, it's not ours to keep. It goes back, so I don't want to damage it. Oh, okay. This is like the most expensive unboxing I've done. All right. This is insane. Look at the, just take a look at this for a moment. We even got his damn head on yet, and it's already badass. So now, actually, there's two head sculpts with this, right? Yes. Okay, so this looks like it's a helmet here. Look at this. Look at this. The paintwork on this is just breathtaking. It's even got felt inside, so it doesn't scratch Thanos' head. So he's comfortable sitting there all day. There's two head sculpts, and I guess we can take a look at it. Which one we go for? Oh! Oh, one pissed off Thanos, and one I'm kind of happy Thanos. This looks exactly like the film. Josh Brolin, from the eyes, the sculpture, the, the chin, the eyes just glow. They're beautiful. You know, sometimes the thing is with sculpts, right? This is where a lot of statues can be hit or miss because sometimes they don't get the face structure right. And even though it sort of resembles the character, it's a little off. This is perfect. Okay, so a little bit of a correction here. The helmet is not to be worn, even though it can fit over the head. It's meant to go on top of the blade. So Thanos will not have a helmet on uh, for this. So we're gonna slide it in here. And you just gotta kind of fit it. It's like a puzzle. Ooh, it's magnetic too. Whoa! Wait a second. Wait a no 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 no. Oh. Oh, it's magnetic. Okay, so here's the thing. There's a magnet in here at the uh, base of this uh, neck here, and there's a magnet inside here. So that's how it connects. So actually, you just slide it in, and then it just sort of locks in automatically. And there you go. Because this is one thing I was worried about is like, how is everything gonna fit in? But if it's done by magnets, that just makes it even so much better. But look how badass this is. Zeno, is it kick? Is this kick ass? Oh, that is hell kick ass. Right? Yes. Dude, this might be one of the best unboxings we've done here. 
This video is brought to you by Secret Lab. Here at Geek Culture, we love our Secret Lab chairs, especially the all-new 2022 Titan Evo with its revamped four-way lumbar system for enhanced back support. If P Leather 2.0 isn't your cup of tea, then consider the all-new Soft Weave, even more soft and breathable than before. The chair comes in more colors, including this lovely frost blue. The Titan Evo is even magnetized, allowing the head pillow to stick on the headrest without straps. Of course, there are even more new features, so do check them out at secretlab.co. Okay, so now we've got this piece here, which you're saying is the base for the sword, right? Oh man, this is heavy as well too. Ah, there it is. Well, even there's like this leather inside of it to protect the blade when you slide the sword in, so it's not gonna get scratched. Man, the attention to detail. Look at that, you see, if you're looking closer on that, you got this leather in there. You know, just one little critique so far has nothing to do with the pieces that it'd be nice to have some sort of paper instruction manual. Now, I know Queen Studios has a YouTube channel where they show videos, but if you don't have access to YouTube while you want to put this together, it'd be nice to have something here that you at least could look in a booklet or something to show you because like Randy, what's this piece go to? I, I don't know. Oh, it's magnetic too. Is it? Yeah, like that. Sorry. It's magnetic as well. Okay. Ah, all right. So now it's sort of like fitting these little small pieces in together, right? Okay. What's this too? Let me check it out. Yeah, you gotta check it out. <laughs> See, instruction manual helps. We just can't rely on video because if our, if our service is down and Thanos was just delivered, we don't know how to put it together. So here's this other piece here, and it looks like it's some sort of railing or a bridge that it was destroyed. Let's try to look. It's like, find the magnetic hole to put this in. Hi. It sounds wrong, I know, Zaki. Okay. I know it does, but just go with me. Hey, we found it! This part goes in and then it's magnetic. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yonk, you figured it out. Thanks, Yonk. Because everything is attached by magnets, which is cool. So this is basically just, just debris in the back of it. So even when you look at this 360, the same amount of detail in the front is in the back and the corner, everything is just completely detailed. Okay, so now we've got these two pieces here and these sort of complete Thanos' outfit on the back side of it. Uh, I don't want to say it's his, this, the, kind of the skirt, but the tails of his outfit. So they have magnets on each of the sides here. And just kind of uh, have to just bring it there and the magnet will automatically sit into the hole. I would say this isn't that secure like the other pieces are so far. This might be the pieces that you would probably accidentally knock off first more than anything because they do flare out a little bit. But um, that's just my take on it. Again, you're not really gonna pick this up once you put it together. It's gonna sit there and stay there. But I mean, if you do wanna move it around, just be wary that these pieces will come off relatively easy because there's only one small magnet holding it together. But it does give that, it does complete the look of the outfit, especially from the, uh, the, the rear and to the side of it as well. Really nice attention to detail. Okay, now we've got this small piece, which looks again like another piece of debris. Um, I don't know exactly what this goes to. Again, we have to look at the video for that placement somewhere around. And that might take me some time. Okay, so we found out where this piece goes and it's right by the sword area. There's a, a slot with two magnets. Now, there's an argument to be made here. I mean, on one side you may say, why even have that piece? Is it necessary? And the other side will say, look, Queen Studio is going for screen accuracy. They want this to be exactly what you saw in the movie. It's here. So there's no right or wrong to this, but I would say a small part like that, again, it is a little bit of a challenge to figure out where these things are at. So as I mentioned a couple of times already, instruction manual would be welcomed. Okay, now we're pretty much done. There's actually just this uh, stand here with the uh, Queen's Studio uh, plate. And this is where you can put the other head sculpt on. So you can switch out anytime you want. Wow, look at that, look at that. That's his neck. His neck, whoops, nice. Nice, magnet, strong. And then this piece goes right in there. Look at that. This stand is beautiful. Look at the Queen Studio logo on the back of that. All just, I mean, the attention to detail they have done here. Oh man, that might be one of the best stands I've seen. 
hands down. Okay, so now we're gonna put the sword in this way here. And you just gotta really kind of just ease it in. There's leather, so it's gonna be a nice sort of a compressed fit inside. So you just wanna push it to make sure that it's solid. It's there, it's not going anywhere. Then I'll reattach this piece here because uh, didn't want that to, to scratch the sword anyway. Yeah, see this piece to me, I know go for screen accuracy, but yeah, there we go. So it sort of just lays against the sword like that. And then we put the helmet on top. Got to balance it. I guess like that. Looks pretty legit. By the way, if you're wondering how this table keeps going up and down, that's part of the Ami desk thing. It does go up and down and it helps us with these unboxings. So yeah, cause you're probably wondering why does the table start so low and then go up so high? How did it happen? Magic. Anyway, uh, let's just take a look at this for a moment. This is just friggin' phenomenal, right? Isn't this, look at the detail from the scratches, the aging in the metal around his uh, shin plates here, from the gold, the patina, if you look around the side, even the leather on his outfit, I mean, you can just see the crackles of the leather where it, you know, it's worn down. The various different color tones here, we get a little bit of a, a cyan blue and it's kind of like, just, it's just unbelievable. And the sculpt, his sculpt on his face, the amount of detail and airbrushing and paintwork that went into this is breathtaking. You know, this comes in at 1,499 Singapore dollars, right? And then this is obviously gonna be for the ultimate fan. But, and this is a collector's piece. Look, there's only 776 made in the world. It is uh, authorized by Marvel. They've got the license for it. And I mean, I have to rewatch Endgame a second, you know, or two to just kind of relook at it. But I'll tell you what, this is friggin' beautiful. This is stunning. I don't even know how you can review something like this. I guess you could say you would talk about the sculpt, but the sculpt is, de is dead on. You know, the double-bladed sword's metal. I mean, just the attention, the detail is just, it blows my mind. You can see some of the parts in the back of it, okay, that, you know, you gotta put it together. It, it's a little bit finicky in that regard, but it's not that many pieces, so it's not gonna take you that long to do. As a matter of fact, I mean, this is the first time I've seen it, you know, and we did it pretty much in this in video, minus a you know, few cuts here and there, but yeah, man, this is legit. I will say though, for this weight, if you've got something like a display cabinet, it depends on your display cabinet if you can hold the weight or not. That's something you do, definitely do need to check because this is really heavy, 35 kg. Some will, some won't. I definitely think this should be on a table or should be on some sort of mantle piece that can hold it. Yes, on the box it says 14 and up, but this is not a kid's toy or a kid's statue by any stretch of the imagination. These are metal, this is metal, this can hurt somebody. Uh, a lot of these pieces are, you know, have some, not sharp edges, but more pointier edges because it's that shrapnel, that debris that happened in, in the film. So yeah, man, I, I, I'm blown away by this thing, man. I am absolutely blown away. And I know Queen Studios also makes various different characters, not just Marvel, not just Thanos, also some DC characters as well. And uh, you know, you can take a look at their Facebook page and also Collector's Arc Facebook page as well. They'll show you some of the other uh, products they're bringing in. But if you're a, a Marvel fan and you're a collector and you have the means, oh hell yeah, get this thing. You gotta get this thing. I mean, we should have this in the Geek Culture Studio. We should have it. We just have nowhere to put it, but we should have it. As a matter of fact, I would host all my videos with Thanos next to me if we had it here. Even though I'm talking about cameras, doesn't matter. I'll just shoot Thanos. How does Thanos look? 50 megapixels, 60 megapixels, 100 megapixels. Thanos, you're looking good, baby. Looking good. Anyway, what are my thoughts on Thanos from Avengers Endgame from Queen Studios? Big thanks once again to Randy from Collector's Arc for bringing this over, for allowing us to unbox this. Um, any questions you guys have, hit us in the comment section below. We'll try to answer them as best as we can. Otherwise, we'll ask Randy to help us out with that. But uh, I think this says it all it's just freaking badass abby you've been quiet this entire time what do you think of this it looks incredible <laughs> i don't know what to say to that <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, thanks, Abby, for that. I know she's writing a lot of articles right now for us, but uh, with that, guys, take care, stay safe. Follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and we will see you very soon. Take care.